Cannabis Awareness Month. The cannabis business now is booming with the push for legalization growing in several states across the country. Joining us right now is Seoul Global Investment CEO Brady Cobb. Brady, good to have you on the program. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me. And you used to invest in retail, but you've switched the business focus to cannabis companies. Tell us how this started. Give us your playbook here because you've got licenses across the world. Yeah, so we identified that this market was coming. I mean, Representative Waters said in Congress the other day, the genie's out of the bottle. The Congress has recognized that now. We saw that about three and a half, four years ago. So you look at a marketplace where people want the product. You look at states and the United States started to get ticked off. California and Oregon and Washington, people weren't paying attention. You start getting states like Ohio, Florida, Michigan, states that matter in a White House election, states that matter in major congressional elections, the delegations of those states talk. Now the market started waking up and seeing it. So we identified this market's coming into the United States. It was already well established in Canada. Yeah. All the private, all the public money was going to Canada. I'm sure what the folks on Wall Street would love to see those IPOs and all the cannabis companies trading in the U.S. And, and Tilray was one of them, and it soared on day one. It soared. It had a limited share count, and it was the first stock that was accessible to U.S. retail investors because it was on the NYSE. So that just showed you the demand was there. We saw that a couple of years ago and started making investments in the space. We started off in Latin America, which was a burgeoning market, had great exports to Canada because the cost of production was so much cheaper. We then pivoted into Florida, did the first license transfer in the state of Florida, which Florida is well-renowned as one of the biggest markets in the U.S. Look at the population, 21 million people, great demographics. We then pivoted over to uh, looking at bigger U.S. multi-state operators, recognizing that you couldn't just be in one state. So we invested in a company called Verano Holdings. If you saw last week or maybe about two weeks ago, Verano was acquired by Harvest and what is being called one of the largest cannabis deals at $850 million. Wow. The resulting company will be the largest multi-state operator in the U.S. So we identify talent, we identify management that have operations that can scale up. So you, so you invested in this industry ahead of uh, any changes in Congress because you see it state by state getting legalized. You're right now lobbying congressional people to, to make this uh, recreational legal? No, we're, I mean, if recreational happens, great. We're a medically focused company. So I started in D.C. a couple of years ago, couldn't barely get a meeting, especially on the Republican side of things. Uh, I engaged uh, the BGR group, uh, Haley Barber's group. Uh, we went door to door, meeting to meeting, banging on doors, just trying to get in. And what's been amazing is to go back now, staff is educated, staff is acting questions because it's become too politically inopportune to oppose it. I honestly think this is going to be a big issue in 2020. I think that anybody running for re-election, look at Senator Cory Gardner. He's facing a very tough re-election bid in Colorado, so that's why he is really pushing the Safe Banking Act, which just got passed out of committee of the financial services this week. So this is a big issue. When we started, we could barely get a meeting. Now we're going door to door, and people understand that, as Maxine Waters said the other day, the genie's out of the bobble. Yeah. And I think you've got to look at the committee vote. It was 45-15, but 11 of those were pretty, pretty well-known conservatives that voted in favor of the Safe Banking Act, which I think bodes well for a House floor vote. If we can get a strong enough House floor vote, it'll send a message over to the Senate. Yeah, for medical use, you know, we have Jack Brewer on all the time on this. So I've stayed away from cannabis stocks, and if you've been following this channel, I haven't been really recommending it. But now that you got Fox News and conservatives starting to show support for cannabis, I do feel like you should have some sort of exposure to the cannabis market. And uh, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, and I'll be looking to invest in some cannabis stocks in 2019. Um, not going to put a large part of my portfolio, but... Uh, I do want to have some exposure, and I do believe that medical marijuana will become legalized, and I even think that recreational eventually will be. But let me know your thoughts and what you guys think about this investment strategy, and I will talk to you guys soon.